This is uh, Bama's first day at Oak Mountain State Park, and we're going to try to watch it go across the bridge. It's probably going to fall. It's okay. It's not that. It's okay. Come on. It's a little shallow creek. Come on. Come on, Bama. Come on. I know. Good girl. Good girl. You did good there. All right, that was the first obstacle. That's right, shake it out, girl. Anyway, this is uh, Bama's first time at Oak Mountain State Park. And evidently we are on the Yellow Trail. About to go over another bridge. We'll see if we see anything cool. Oh, you can't walk on the side. Come on. I know. It's a shaky bridge, isn't it? You did good. You're like Indiana Jones now. All right. We're off to the wilderness. Led only by my trusty canine, guard dog, and tracker, Bama. Luckily, good girl, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you'd have to stop. Uh, you've just now left civilization. No telling what we might run into. Further updates, as events warrant. Oh, well, I've now been walking for, uh, I don't know, quite a while. Uh, Luckily, I was blessed with a keen sense of navigation because I might forget where the car was. And there's obviously no markings um, any here man made to follow. Um, really, just kind of relying on my wits alone. Uh, I can basically tell where I'm going simply because of the fact that uh, the angle of the sun, uh, the direction of the wind, uh, the direction that the river is flowing. Um, I mean, this is the deep woods here. You, you know, this is what you see on on television. People getting lost in the wilderness for days. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of scary, but it really makes you feel alive. Uh, I'm really relying just on my wits. Uh, God-given capabilities. Uh... You know, it's one of those things that you really kind of, uh, <clears throat> you don't really appreciate. Because, you know, everything's so sanitized in our world. And it comes in a box and it's prepackaged. And you, know, you all never have to worry about, you know, getting off track. You say to drive the same stuff every day. And I don't know, it's just something about here and just having yourself to rely on. Your trusty uh, canine tracking companion. Um, you know, it's possible that white men have never been here before. Uh, who knows? Maybe when I get back, I'll try to draw a map for the rest of the people. So, uh, you know, in case they they get lost out here or something. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll give you some updates and see if we can't uh, catch us some food. We're on one of the steeper parts of the trail right now. This way though. Go. Um, turning a little cooler. But uh, it is pretty steep and I did we did see a deer go flying by. I just wasn't quick enough with the camera. Um, it was barely visible with a normal human eye, but I've got a pretty good peek at it. A um, little history about myself. I've, of course, my Indian name would be um, Chief Winnebago, which of course means one who walks with the small white and brown spotted dog without... technical direction never gets lost 
and who could walk all day and never get out of breath. May try to find a bench here. Um, there may have been one left by the Chickasaw who once lived in this part of the woods. Um, or as I call them, uh, my ancestors. I can feel them guiding me on. Uh, it's just, I don't know, maybe uh, the way that the woods smell. Um, almost indetectable. The way that, for example, this uh, twig is broken. Um, I can tell that people have been through here before. No telling how long ago. It could have been centuries. Um, but we'll we'll press on. We're coming down the side of the hill now, and we'll uh, see what we can find. It's getting a little steep. This part. Uh, the dog is exhausted. I'm having to uh, basically carry her. Pull, Bama. Pull. Keep pulling. Um, but hopefully we'll get out of this very soon. Uh, I think perhaps we should have tried a different trail, but uh, we can we can make it. Pray for us. We're heading back now. Um, I'm afraid that the dog is just too tired to go much further down that into the unknown jungle. Slow down. Slow down. Thank you. Um, so, you know, if she's ready to go, oh, she seems to be caught up in some of my accoutrements. Hold on one second, please. Okay. Got that fixed. As I was saying, we are, uh, are heading back because obviously the dog is exhausted. It's just not fair to, uh, you know, treat her this way. She's not used to this uh, like I am. I'm a highly trained individual uh, with superior muscle memory. Now, if I can just figure out where we are. So, you listen, speak to me, grandfather. Speak to me. Which way should I go? Which way should I go? Something telling me that uh, you know, I don't know. We'll just have to rely on gut instinct. Just hope that somehow we can find our way back. Oh yes, I remember that. That right there is the tree that was blocking my way earlier, and I had to move it that probably need to be removed anyway. I feel like this might be a good place to stop and sing the song of my forefathers. You can almost hear the melody in the breeze. If you listen closely, you can hear it. I'm an Indian outlaw, half Cherokee and Choctaw. My baby, she's a Chippewa. Oh, she's the one of a kind. They all want to see my end buffalo breeze. Oh, I'm an Indian outlaw. Just the melody, just floating on the breeze. But you know, until you get out here, you feel the power of those words. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. Thank you, Chief McGraw. Cherokee people, Cherokee tribe. So proud to live, so proud to die. Alright, let's see how she does. She does any better on the bridge this time. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay. Go on. Go on. Good girl. 
Oh yeah, she's got it down. Of course, how about so myself? Anyway, she's doing good.